Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be doing a side by side comparison on two Galaxy J7 devices. Now, both of these here are on Boost Mobile. On the left, we have the Samsung Galaxy J7 Refine 2018 version, and on the right, the Samsung Galaxy J7 2015 version. So, a phone that's three years old against a newly released phone this may have been a little bit better comparison if i had the j7 perks from last year but i don't so i still have this goodie right here and so i'm basically just going to you know take a look at both of these phones here what they're running processing wise stuff like that you know, see what's been added taken away and all that kind of stuff there um i know the 2015 version is hard to get now unless you buy it maybe on amazon ebay somewhere like that but i just think it's really good to look at a phone from three years ago versus a phone that just was just released and see what the differences are so on the front here you really can't tell much difference other than you know the colors of the phone white here with this really nice gold looking color here on the left top you'll see the camera right top is the camera however the 2015 version has a front flash so that's very very missed here on the 2018 version this version here had a flash but this one didn't now on the bottom here you'll see the same physical clicky home button and the recents and back button there in the same place now here on the left, we have the volume rockers. It is spaced on the 2018, and it's one solid volume button there on the 2015. On top, you will see just a secondary microphone there. Now look at it here. You can tell that the 2015 version is a little bit wider, but they are about the same height. So not much difference going on there. Now looking here at the bottom of the phones, both of them have micro USB charging ports and 3.5 millimeter headset jacks. And on the right, of course, is the power button. But the speaker is up here on the side of the 2018 version, while the speaker is on the back of the 2015 version. And on the back, of course, is your camera flash and your Samsung Brandon. Now, one thing that's different here that has been removed from this version here is the fact that the 2015 version, the it can be the back can be removed and you can replace the battery if you need to it also houses your SD card and your SIM card slot while here on the 2018 the SIM card slot and SD card slot is here which you need a SIM tool to remove so that's pretty much just the exterior of the phone I guess you would say let's go ahead and power both these phones on okay so upon turning the phones on one thing that you will see different here, maybe not on camera so much, but in real life you can tell. Best of my knowledge, the J7 Refine has a 720 by 1280 TFT display, while on the J7 2015 has the same 720 by 1280, but it's super AMOLED. So the colors pop a lot better, the screen just looks a whole lot better here on the 2015 version. Now swiping around, I mean both phones still feel very snappy, however usage of the 2018 version does feel a lot more snappy. I got Nova Launcher uh, added and it just feels very fast and not really how much of an issue. Nova Launcher here as well. This one right here, it might chuck up a little bit here and there and kind of stutter a little, a little bit more than 2018 version. Let's go into CPU-Z just to look at a few uh, different specs here between these two devices uh, and a speed test will be coming as well so here we are running the 1.6 gigahertz octa-core exynos 7885 processor as you can see right there like i said 5.5 inch display 720 by 1280 2 gigabytes of ram and you get 32 gigabytes of storage now looking here at the 2015 version it says 1.36 gigahertz but it's 1.5 gigahertz. It is an octa-core Snapdragon 615. Uh, it also has a 5.5 inch display. You'll see 720 by 1280 there as well. It has the same two gigabytes of RAM. So Samsung did not improve the J7 after three years. You know, from two gigabytes here, two gigabytes there, you would have figured they would at least add an extra gig or even double the gigs. But you'd only get 16 gigabytes of storage here in this model. So going from 16 to 32, people are like, well, big, a big storage improvement. Well, not really. Not considering that this phone is three years older. 
And this phone has a Super AMOLED display and a front flash and there's more. So let's go ahead and go back home here. Now I will look at an N22 benchmark that I ran uh, for right now. I'll do more of this here, you know, in the full speed test comparison. But 92,304 is what it got here on the 2018 version and 90,744, so very close in speeds just by N22. Now, these are not necessarily correct. I mean, they're not. I mean, they're just benchmark scores to give you an idea of what they run in the scores. But I don't really put much stock in them. I just run them for the fun of it to see the differences and how close they are or how far apart they are. So let's go ahead and go back home here. We will go into the settings and browse around a little bit here. Now, even with a Super AMOLED display, this screen just looks a little bit more dull. I don't know what it is about it, but it just does not look as crisp for some reason as this one. Very hard to explain, don't know why, that's the way it is. Now looking up here at connections, what's one thing there you see differently? NFC, this phone has got NFC, this phone does not have NFC. So that's kind of, that's something else right there that a phone that's three years older has got the capability of NFC while the new version that cost, you know, $230 when it was released, no NFC. Not important to me, but I know it's important to some. So I wanted to just you know, throw that out there that, yeah, three years, you know, you'd figure they improve, but they really don't do a whole lot. But look at these phones here. They look almost the same i mean you have your device maintenance here advanced features wallpapers and things display i mean basically they're the same looking phone now this phone did come out i believe was a lollipop 5.1 lollipop but it was updated to 7.1.1 nougat and you're running oreo over here but uh yeah go to device maintenance here and you can run these here and Let's go ahead and let these here clear out 98% on both. So we're going to optimize them both. Now both of them are 100% excellent. And down here you'll see the amount of storage, which of course the storage is how many apps you have on your phone. So they're going to always vary. And you have your memory there free, 1.1 gigs free, 870 megabytes free. So that always also goes on how what kind of apps you got on your phone, games, stuff of that nature. But thought I would kind of point that out there. So, I mean really are the phones that much different yes the 2015 version is not as fast in gaming performance and stuff like that as the 2018 version but i gotta say i mean this one right here has nfc it has super amoled display has a front flash lacking all of that here in the newest model you know, that's one thing that I never understand. Now, I want to go into the camera for a brief moment and just look at a few differences here. You can swipe this way here and swipe this way here. You're going to pretty much get the exact same thing. Auto, pro, panorama, continuous shot, HDR, rich tone, beauty face, sports, sound and shot. Same thing, no difference. Swipe to the right, it just looks different. One's on top, one's on the bottom for the effects nothing much difference there now going here into the settings we will see um, if there's any difference here between megapixels and uh, recording and stuff of that nature here so we'll go ahead and pull this up so max picture here is 4x3 13 megapixel 4x3 13 megapixel and as you can see there you go very close not much difference pretty identical right Back out of here, going to video size. The only thing missing from this one here is the one by one 1072 by 1072 for the rear camera. Both of them recording full HD, HD and VGA. And now as far as the front camera goes, you will see a major difference. 13 megapixel front camera here, five megapixel camera here in the front of the J7 2015. So major difference there as far as, you know, picture quality in the front. Both of them, however, do still record in full HD in the front camera as well. And basically the settings are the same. Nothing much changed, nothing much different. 
Now, I, from personal, you know, taking a few pictures here and there, the 2018 version does outshine the camera department. Uh, even though with the same rear 13 megapixel camera, you know, full HD, it does seem to be better here on the 2018 version, um, J7. But honestly, you're losing features. The, it's like the newer the phones get, these phones here get, the more features is lost. I mean, this phone right here does have a rear firing, a rear firing speaker, which is always a bad thing. A sad minus speaker there. Uh, you know, the front of it here looks almost identical. It is, the 2015 version is a bit wider, but looking at it here, it looks the same. I mean, the phone looks almost identically the same. But you got NFC. You have a Super AMOLED display, front flash, removable back, removable battery, if you ever want to change your battery. And for Samsung, that's a good thing sometimes. But I don't know. Just a side-by-side -side comparison here between the Samsung Refine 2018 J7 and the J7 2015 from three years ago on Boost Mobile. So, I wanted to kind of just share this with y'all a little bit. I don't know if it's really important or not, but I kind of thought it was. So, if this was helpful and informative, hit that like button. Any questions, leave it below. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for post notifications. That would be awesome. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.